right? Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to you. How about Shemi Al Shai, by Shemra Kakodash? I give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makazar from the Trend.com. camp. So I do a little edification for the elect's sake. All right, and we see, you know, the, the government so called reopening. I know people, they were getting happy, you know, getting to work, getting to get money, all right, to, you know, they can buy food, whatever the case is. So, in their mind, they think that the storm passed. But guess what? They're just in the eye of the storm. All right? They're just in the calm. So, it's going to get worse again. All right? Because guess what? The scripture said it's the beginning of sorrows. All right? We are, we, hey, we basically, we in the, the time of the end. All right? We need time of the end and these prophecies, they're fulfilling. All right? They're fulfilling. I've seen brothers, you know, um, videos getting strikes on, on, on YouTube. All right? So the famine of the wood here, the eye for the chip, which is mark of the beast. All right? Hey, something big could, could pop off with this whole scene with Venezuela. All right, so we, we see things happening. We see the scripture say, uh, you know, hear a rumor one day and, and our next rumor. All right, so we hear in rumors, we see things happening right now. All right, and it's only a matter of time before the before the great collapse, before you know that great day, that great and dreadful day. All right, so I'm going to the scriptures. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. It says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace. And there shall be none. All right. So they're seeking peace right now and destruction coming. All right. The sword coming. But guess what? Israel looking for peace. Basically, they say now, they say in the end, the end won't come. All right. We, we pray that the end won't come. We pray that World War Three won't happen. We pray that, you know, the, the, the economy won't collapse. We pray that martial law won't happen. But guess what? These things are prophecies. And wherever the Lord say it will happen, it will come to pass. All right, it will come to pass. Verse 26 Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. And we've seen rumor upon rumor right now, and mischief upon mischief. As the scriptures say, he can, he can never keep at home. All right, now we see Donald Trump, we see, um, I think it's Europe, France, I believe it's Britain. You know, they were saying that, um, Maduro should step down, you know, within eight days, whatever the case is. But guess what? That had nothing to do with them. Now we see the England refusing to, to give up the, the gold that they owe. Um, not even, oh, they didn't borrow it. They're just holding the gold for, for, um, for Venezuela. No, they don't want to give it up. But guess what? If it was the other way around, bombs would have already been flying. Missiles would have already been flying. That is why the so-called white man, he is the devil that the scripture speaks about. And guess what? I am happy, truly happy that his end is come. All right? His end is come. And two-thirds end come. All right? Two-thirds of Israel and you Edomites have to pay for what you did to the Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right? Pray them upon the cross. All right? Saying, crucify him and let his blood be upon us and our children. Guess what? Your blood, his blood is truly upon you. And as the Lord said, this iniquity shall not be purged unless he die. All right? So your end is come. All right? So we hear rumors upon rumors and mischief upon mischief. All right? It says, then shall they seek a vision of the prophets. So they're going to seek visions from us. But we ain't going to be out there. All right? Because we're warning you. We're giving you warning that this is the time. We're giving you warning that the microchip is the mark of the beast. All right? It's only when the economy collapses. And the only reason you people could eat or drink or do any form of business is by taking this chip. Then you're going to realize that, that the men of Great Millstone begin with Apostle Ta, Apostle Raka, Apostle Gabar, and Apostle Ariam Lab all the way down, been speaking the truth. But guess what? It's going to be too late. You won't see us anymore. All right? We won't be on YouTube because they're going to shut it down. We won't be on the streets anymore. All right? But the law shall perish from the priests and the council from the ancients. All right? This is Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 2. And said unto me, son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in the city. All right? People who say that it's hey, going to continue for long. All right? There's not the end. Since the days of, of my forefathers been here and by the end. But guess what? You people forget that prophecies have to happen. All right? 
verse 3, which say, It is not near. Let us build houses. The city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Just like Nate. All right? They're not living like, like today could be the last. They're living like, guess what? There's the kingdom, so they have to make it here. But this is not the kingdom. This is the Esau's kingdom, that, and it on a, 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 like as Yahweh Shai said in Luke 10, 18, it falling like lightning. We see in Esau's kingdom collapsing. All right? And this government shut down because what Trump said, said by the 15th, if they don't come to an agreement here, they're going to close back the government, which not fully opened, or declare a state of emergency, which basically going to be martial law. All right? So great hell is coming to the world, and two-thirds of the world not seeing it. All right? But the Lord said, bless are your eyes, for ye see. There's the men that out here preaching this word, and they that listen to the men that preach this word. All right? <sighs> This is Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 25. It says, For I am um, Yahweh. I will speak, and the word shall that I speak shall come to pass. So the Lord's word is going to come to pass. Guess what? America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. All right? That is already set. It's already been spoken. And as they said in the old um, Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston, so let it be written, so let it be done. All right? It says, It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say a word and will perform it, said Yahba Hashem All right? Verse 27, it says, Son of man, behold, they are of the house of Israel. Say, the vision that he said is for many days to come. And he prophesied of times that are far off. But guess what? We, the Lord not prophesying about times are far off. The Lord prophesying about the times that we're in right now. These are the times. Ezekiel, I believe it's chapter 39, verse 8. It says, These are the days that the Lord has spoken of. It says, Therefore say unto them, Thus saith Yahba Hashem Yahushai, There shall no more, there shall, none of my, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahba Hashem Yahushai. All right, it, it, it guess what? It's gonna be it gonna come to pass. All right, the scripture said the um, prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself, but the simple pass on and are destroyed. All right, the simple pass on and are destroyed because the simple not taking warning. All right, they're not taking warning and turning to the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahushai because the Lord are blinding the eyes that they can't see. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. It says, And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it. In. And we're running with this word and, and, and declaring it. All right, I'm publishing it throughout the whole of Israel. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And it's speaking right now and it's not lying. Because guess what? The things that are happening right now are lining up. Um, perfectly with the scriptures alright it lining up perfectly with the scriptures it says do it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry yes yeah, so you know people always think that the scriptures it wouldn't happen because it tarrying but it not tarrying anymore alright it not tarrying anymore it coming to pass and all your prayers all your prayers for peace all your prayers that that the, the times may change it it's not gonna come it's not gonna happen all right it's not gonna happen all right it says proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 it says there are many devices in a man's heart yeah that that destruction won't come that the end won't come all right that no, this this war will turn into peace and this sorrow will turn into joy Guess what? The only time peace will come is after the war. And the only time joy will come is after this, this kingdom get destroyed. Thus say the Lord. It says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, that shall stand. So whatever the Lord say, that can stand. Alright? That is what going to come to pass. The Lord said that this is the end. The Lord said that he going to deliver his elect and one third. The Lord said that two thirds gonna be destroyed. The Lord said that the nations going into slavery and he's gonna destroy America and the Edomites, you so called wives. Guess what? That's gonna stand. 
And these are the things that we're looking forward to. All right? Hey, and for all you people who don't believe that his name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. All right? You're going to be destroyed. This is the final precept here. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? All right? So because you ain't believe means that these words are not going to come to pass? Nah. No. Hell no. All right? When I look up the word without effect, it means what? To render idle. So basically we say that the Lord just speak in vain words when you saying that these things are not going to come to pass or that these are not the days. That is where you say the Lord speaking idle and vain words. It says unemployed, inactive, um, inactivate, inoperative all right what the scripture said psalm 68 and 11 the lord uttered the words and great is the company of them that published it all right we publishing and it coming to pass and guess what the lord have thousands upon thousands of angels that carry out his will all right then the scripture said you're gonna drive the river euphrates here we have the river euphrates drying up all right then the scripture say preparing the nations to battle guess what the nations preparing to battle right now the council of the lord standing all right. Um, in two a it says to cease to pass away to done away. So basically, you saying that the prophecy is done away. You pastors are saying that the new test, the old testament, is not on void. Basically, you saying that the Lord's words are done away. But then Yahweh Shai said that um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but His words shall not pass away. They're gonna come to pass. Verse four it says Yahweh forbid, yea. Let Yahweh be true and every man a liar, as it is written, thou that, um, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So the scripture says, let every man be a liar and Yahweh be true. Alright? So the Lord's words are true, pure words. And wherever the Lord say it will come to pass. And we are in the last days. And you people been warned. So take heed to the warning. Alright? The alarm being sung. Martial law, World War III, the RFD chip, which is the mark of the beast, a global economic collapse, it's all at hand. All right? And it's all been prophesied. It's all been spoken by the Lord and prophesied by the mouth of his prophets, which we are the prophets of the Lord. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great men, so not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and saints, say, This is Makazah from Trinidad Camp, saying, Shalawam.